Hey, and welcome back to the next episode of Fire Emblem Thank you, Three Houses. Let's see what's going on for the next week. Now that so I... Ooh, dance, dance, dance. So now that I did a battle, I wonder what actually happened. I have gratitude. Like, do we just move on to the next day? I think that's what happens, right? Gotta repair some what? Oh, we don't have access to the blacksmith yet. I am great. You are great. Great, so we get to instruct. Alright. Let's instruct people. Oh, I didn't get to increase morale for peeps. Oh. Alright, that's fine. The hands off approach. Just pretty much all you're good for. Let's give you some authority. I think. Oh, good. Gives me one more motivation. I just want to make sure you level that up with your own personal. Alright, Fernad, you suck. I forget he also wants to learn axes. Just weird. Caspar, you punched really well, dude. Like, your punching skill was punchable. Two. Three. I'll get it. Four. That and authority. Give you all more battalion practice. And Bernadette. Give you more bows. I guess, and spear. No, let's give you authority. You're close to authority. <gasps> That's right. These are things that you can attempt at. Thanks for the help. I'd never have learned this back in my room. No, you wouldn't have. All right, can't teach anyone else. Just take a look at. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize that you had to listen to that sound. A lot of axe people. A lot of axe people. Let's keep you two on that. Again, lecture. Professor. If I have to hit someone, I want to do it far away so there's no way they can get hit back. I think I want a master bow. Everyone would know me as Bernie the Sniper. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you should do. Hubert would like to speak to me. Which one's Hubert again? Oh, Nosferatu. Hello, Professor. You seem to be in good health. Is this where you murder me? Of course. Good. I'm glad. Hmm. Doesn't seem intimidated. No, not at all. It's just that I find myself a little concerned for your well-being. All right. You thank see, you. The Edelgard has taken something of an interest in you. Okay. It seems so. Don't be flippant. Flippant. There is something you need to understand about the role I play here. It's to poison me while I sleep. One of my duties is to determine potential advantages and potential threats to her highness. If you prove yourself useful to Lady Edelgard, it all will be well. If you pose a threat, I shall have to dispose of you. Okay. Yes, this is no joke. While I may be a student here, I am her servant first and foremost. Therefore, if an untimely demise is not to your liking, you would do well to demonstrate your utility with all haste. Nah. I should warn you that I am far less compromising than Lady Edelgard. Do not be at ease merely because you stand in her good graces for the time being. Not worried. Huh. Such confidence. I'm beginning to see why you caught her eye. My family, House Vestra, has been sworn to House Resvelg for generations. Resvelg. Since the dawn of the Empire, we have worked to protect the Emperor by any means necessary. Both in the open and in the shadows. Okay. If you incur our wrath, you will see just what I mean. Or will I? If you're in the shadows, I won't see it coming.
I mean, that is if they're doing their job correctly. Fernand, let's ah, uh, Fernand, you're gonna die, boy. Hello, Professor. I've saved you nice so many times. You. And Caspar. You seem to hold Edelgard in high esteem. That is my impression, at least. Got a lot to learn. Well, now, that is not what I expected you to say. You clearly have high standards. Thank you. And what is your opinion of me? I am at least her equal, am I not? Be you honest. suck. Do not hold back. Pretend that I am just a regular person, not the scion of a noble house. Nah, friend, you kind of suck. You think she is better than me? Yes. I was just being modest before. Honestly, I have always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard. Well, you are not. But evidently, that is not your perspective. Hmm. I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence. Yeah, prove yourself. I can't stop you. Precisely. You cannot stop me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. Good. Do you think I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Not likely. Come, Professor. Wait, you're gonna fight me? We will begin with battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. You get murdered I by everything. Just the other day, she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. That is a lie. Professor, you can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Here we go. It's a squirrel. Two at once. That's well, it will be fine. What are those things? I can't do it. It seems you have saved my life. I thank you, Professor. Gaining some perspective on the world, dude. Yay! Now who else wants to talk to me? What's happening now? Done better oh. If had each been more willing to compromise. This. You are right about that. We were both stubborn for foolish reasons. Yes. Four points mean to increase. Soon they'll like each other again. Perhaps I've been well taught. Yeah, you have. I am closing in on expertise. I forget you know how to do that. All right, one week left before the thing. We have allies who can take immediate intermediate exams. Ooh. A lot of people battled today. I'm gonna explore. Certifications. Edelgard. Let's see, are you the only one? Yeah. Alright, Edelgard. What you got for us? Wielding a sword has high degree of authority. Sword. Sword. Axe and heavy armor. Ooh. Lance and riding. Axe. Archer, Mage, Priest, Pegasus, Knight. Prince Thessal to front lines acts as a shield. Ooh. Do I want her as a heavy knight or a brigand? I like armored knights. Like, I in all fire modes, I like the heavy class. And I like to just have a wall of them up. But one guy with a mace can just mow them down. What's that 93 and 95 on the bottom, though? Strength. Uh. 
Who else do I have? Caspar, if I become a brigand. You know what? As much as I want her as a brigand, because I like her speed to be able to just move in. Let's get an armored knight. Let's do it. I was training Fernad to become an armored knight. Oh, that's right. I was training Fernad to become an armored knight. Oh, well. Too late. Mistakes have been made. Maybe we can shoot her, switch her over later. Do I have access to Ah. Let's replenish everyone. Need to get you another sword. Oh, you'll need another mace. Really, why is the blacksmith not open yet? sword which is not sold by you all right let's get you a steel sword do you sell maces you do get you another mace You need a lance. Get you an iron lance. You're fine for now. You need another bow. Mini bow? Huh. Get you another iron bow. You're fine for now. Nah, wait. What are you focusing on? Get you a real sword. Oh, you have the iron sword. Get you an iron bow. Both your swords are weakish, but you'll be fine. Alright, I think that just about does everyone. Hold on. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go back here. Leather shield still. Oh no, you have iron shield now. What's pure water do? Okay. Get another one of those. Alright. You are not certified yet. Let's get you certified. I don't like that on you. I passed? Well done, me. I guess maybe when Fernand gets up to Armored Knight, then I'll pull him out. Or pull Edelweiss over. Alright, let's explore.
All right, Siltus. A hero's relic. Yes. All right. Good talk. I always accidentally do that. Why is this lit up? Oh. Oh. Hmm. This is a this thing. Idea, I may be able to get the one up on Edelgard. This again. Well, got time to do these. Hubert, I wish you would not sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Maybe you would be more perceptive if your mind were less burdened by sedition. Sedition? Absurd. This is an important project. Yes, I heard. A new way to prove how superior you are to Lady Edelgard. She is not your rival, Ferdinand. She is above you. A noble like you ought to know his place. <laughs> Anything is better than being a noble like you. Every time you open your mouth, it's Lady Edelgard this or Lady Edelgard that. Do you ever think for yourself? You follow her around like a pet. You spend all of your time fretting over her, and yet you never truly express an opinion of your own. Before you reprimand me, take a moment to consider your own failings. Your nonsense is tiresome, so I hope this will be the last time I have to remind you. Lady Edelgard is the Imperial Princess. You are merely the Prime Minister's son. Yes, I understand all right. that. But my duty is to guide her. To give Frank advice when she is on the wrong course of action. That is what I strive to do, always. Thus, my devotion to surpass Edelgard. So that if she needs guidance, I will be prepared to give it. If you think it is tiresome to have a mind of your own, you will never be much of an advisor. Does the river of filth pouring out of wrong. ever stop flowing? Your obsession with all things superficial is disgusting. It's no use. You're hopeless. I'll take my leave. I have nothing more to say to you. Get out of here. All right. Good for them. Being outside is so tiring. Oh, you're outside. Tomorrow's got to be just an inside day, Bernie. Whoa. Why is it so cold all of a sudden? <laughs> it's as if an unspeakable evil just... Good. <laughs> You're late. Oh. No, into the light! Back to the beyond from whence you came! Are you telling me to die? Yes. The, the, Hubert! In the flesh. I came to ask you something. Oh no, what did I do? Think, Bernie, think! There have been sightings of a sinister figure carrying a sharp object, wandering the halls at night. Um... A strange giggle, the glimmer of a needle in the dark, the sound of a door creaking open and closed. I... I was embroidering. I suspected as much. Then you leave me no choice. Too young to die! I've got so much left to do! Please don't kill me! About what I expected. <sighs> it's no good. Be nice I to Bernadette. That was quite a sprint. A shame you lack stamina. Now to my duty. You're going to execute me, aren't you? Please, let me compose my last will and testament. Or at least a swan song? The creak of a door. Sorrow like a needle point. Bernie's gone away. Oh, Bernie. Bernadetta, a word of caution. How would you feel if you fell or bumped into someone while carrying around that needle? Please watch where you're going in the future. <laughs> How did you manage to faint while standing up? <laughs> I cannot simply leave her here. Bernadette's definitely my favorite. Oh, you can't have. Oh, weird. Petra, 
Industrious as ever, I see. Hello, Hubert. Yes, I am trying to be industrious. I must be working hard to improve my position. Right now, it is not a good one. Even accounting for that, your efforts are impressive. I wish a little of you would rub off on certain people here. One troublesome slouch in particular. Rub? I will not be rubbing on any. <laughs> not literally. I never would have imagined you would adjust so well to life in Fodlan. When I first met you, you couldn't understand a single word of the language. You had the look of a cornered animal. So much so, I thought you'd grown up in the wild. I had more youth then, and the experience was terrifying. Fair enough. My grandfather ordered me to go to Fodlan with suddenness. I was stolen to a strange land filled with strange people. The treatment I was receiving was like... Like I was a strange beast. It is unfortunate, but while you were called our guest, you were actually a hostage. You were meant to be insurance that Brigid would not restore its alliance with Dagda and attack us. The Empire required leverage, and after all, you are the princess of Brigid. It gave me sadness to leave my home, but I am not unhappy that I came to the Empire. I have learned much understanding from the outside world. My experience has made me become who I am. And meeting you and Lady Edelgard has had great value for me. I admire your spirit in the face of adversity. You set a strong example to follow. <laughs> and there is much more adversity to come. All right, Hubert's done. Pretty tired, Linhart. I think you could use a little more of the fighting spirit. I believe you have enough fighting spirit for the both of us. Enough? <laughs> There's no such thing. You need as much as you can get if you're gonna train. I'd rather pace myself. You're becoming too much like your father. I still recall with startling clarity the time he forced me to do some training. Ah, I remember your father wasn't too happy about that. Our fathers actually got into a fight over it. They hate one another so much. I simply cannot fathom what's wrong with the two of them. I wish they'd just have it out already. One big fight to settle things. My father would win, obviously, but it would still be fun to watch. That would be rather cruel. I don't think anyone in Fodlan could beat up your father. My father does have <laughs> a height advantage, though. <laughs> height advantage? What does that matter? When two opponents are of similar strength, the one with the height advantage wins. It's pure math. Whoever forces to submit wins. That's how fighting Maybe. works. It has nothing to do with height. Brute strength alone doesn't decide a fight. And taller people have longer limbs, too. Longer limbs equates to a longer reach. Taller people can hit you from farther away. Oh, and they have more leg strength. But there's also that... Well, I'm bored explaining this. I think you get my point. No, I don't get it. Now you're talking about limb length and reach? None of that matters when you're up close and brawling. You know, I'm going to agree with you just so I don't have to keep talking. Oh my god. If yes. You something else to say, then come out and say it. Perfect. Actually, you know what? Forget this. I'll prove it to you myself. Some of those new knights look pretty tall. I'll fight one just for you. And off he goes. Uh, they're all so strong, I couldn't land a single blow. Height advantage. So it's as I said then, isn't it? I hope that screenshot took. The fighter has the advantage. And my father could beat yours in a fight. Okay, that was awesome. I hope Linhart has great conversation like that like everyone, with everyone else. Oh, I do believe a nap is in order. Ah, oh, this is lovely. Ah, just feel that breeze. Dorothea, whatever are you doing here? I was thinking of relaxing here, but it looks as if someone else is lounging in my spot already. Taking a nap in public like this? Really, Lynn. The nobles look down on such behavior. You do know I am of noble birth. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just teasing. You never do act very noble, though. Why is that? 
Oh. Each person must follow their own way. This is how I prefer to live. Even if some of the more pretentious nobles like to poke fun at my ways. Doesn't that bother you? I mean, really? It doesn't hurt your pride or anything? What use is pride? It doesn't feed nor clothe you. It offers no warmth on a cold night. First time I've heard a noble say something like that. Fair. Well, most nobles are... Oh, what is the polite way to say it? Fools. Yes, they are fools. <laughs> As for myself... I'm also my a fool. My father is the Minister of Domestic Affairs, and he has pride enough for the both of us. <laughs> for example, did you know he and the Minister of Military Affairs cannot get along, although they value each other greatly? His pride gets in the way, so he can't make amends. That is why there is discord between civil ministers and military officers in the Empire. Makes sense. And so pride serves no good purpose in politics, either. So tell me, what use is it? I wonder if bad blood between civil and military leaders is somewhat unavoidable. Probably. The Minister of Domestic Affairs is in charge of all civil officials, so if they just give in easily, their subordinates would lose respect, right? I get the feeling that if your pride isn't equal to the responsibility oh. you bear, then you aren't fit to lead. Burn. Also, I happen to think pride can be quite charming. And how necessary is charm? It just gets in the way of living your life. If you lack charm, nobody will give you a second glance. Is that an issue? Right, which means more time for napping. Lynn, you can't really believe what you're saying, can you? Yeah, he can. Alright, we're going to end this episode here, and we'll pick this up with the next episode as we keep talking to everyone else. Thank you all for watching, and tune in next time for Conversations! Bye.